Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. So uh, it's night number three of installing parts to, well, it's more than night number three because I did the downpipe and that sort of thing. But um, we are on the final stages of getting this car put together uh, for flex fuel. Uh, last night I installed the TGV and EGR deletes. They're all laying on the floor right now. So I got to move all that stuff out of the way. Um, and we're going to go ahead and install this flex fuel kit. Let's just get into it. So first order of business, we're going to go ahead and take our battery off. It's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts, one on the front, one on the back to get the mounting bracket off. We'll take that off and then we'll disconnect both of our positive and negative connections. So I have the battery out now. The next thing that I got to do here is the fuel feed line. So it's going to just going to be a flathead. Make sure you have like a towel or something because some fuel is probably going to drip out of here. Um, I did go ahead first and I pulled the fuse for the fuel pump, which is going to be your 15 amp fuse um, right there underneath the 20 amp. There's going to be a 15 amp right there. Go ahead, pull that out and then start the car up. Let it run till it dies. Just let it sit. It literally sat here for like 10, 15 minutes before the fuel cut out and it died. Um, so the fuel pressure is killed out now. So we can go ahead and take this off. Do not try and take this line off with the fuel pressure still primed and ready to go um just not a good idea so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna remove this line just take a flathead pop that up flathead pop that up and we'll get this line out then we are going to take our flex fuel kit so i already have our sensor here and i already installed the hoses you're going to have one long hose and one short hose flex fuel sensor is actually going to go I'll show you once I get it in here, but you're going to mount this. Uh, I forget which one of these holes gets mounted. Um, you're supposed to mount it behind uh, behind the fuse box here. So you're supposed to pull this bolt out. Uh, sometimes it helps if you unmount the fuse box completely to move it around. But I believe it's supposed to slide uh, and, and bolt down here. To give you an idea, there is where the flex fuel sensor is going to sit it reuses the stock bolt that is going to be a little bit hard to get into i did end up loosening up these two bolts so i could kind of push it down a little bit more but now that's all squared away you can see this fuel line is ran up and goes to the feed line so the fuel is going to come in go into the sensor come out of the sensor come up this feed line here and up into the injection port now what we're going to do is install our wiring so this thing is super nice because everything is labeled for you it's going to come with a new allen key bolt you're going to have to use that instead of this factory bolt which i already loosened up when i did my uh, tgv and egr and all that stuff so this is going to sit on there like that you're going to put your new bolt in then all of this is labeled which is beautiful so all this you're just going to fish down through there this brown wire is going to connect directly to your flex fuel sensor these are uh, the O2 plugs, or no, right? Yeah, O2 plugs. So these are going to go down. One is going to plug into your O2 sensor, and the other one is going to plug into the plug that plugs into your O2 sensor. Basically, it's just a T to uh, um, split that up. And then these are going to plug into your TGVs, which uh, most of us that are running flex fuel already have the TGV delete, which I just did. So you're only going to need one of these plugs. I don't remember which one it is, but the plug is literally right here. So... Uh, okay, so I'm going to need the male end. So you can tape up this female end. You're not going to use it if you already did the TGV delete. So there you can see that green plug right there is going to be above your downpipe that's going to come off the CO2 sensor, whether you have a stock downpipe or an aftermarket one like I do. Um, it's still going to come off this secondary O2 sensor. So these green plugs right here, you're going to have to take your splash guard out to get to them. Once you have your splash guard out, if you don't already... Um, to, to do everything else that I've been doing. Uh, you're going to go ahead, you're going to unplug the green connector, you're going to plug in the splitter, so you can see there are the two gray connectors. One plugs into the one end, the other one plugs into the other end. Now you're going to have some slack. So what you're going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and sort of take my hands and uh, take some zip ties and just kind of tie this up right here or something so it's not like hitting the frame there we'll go ahead tie this up we got a lot of extra cord here from the uh from the flex fuel kit so i'm going to actually pull this cord up and zip tie that up into the engine bay as well 
Okay, so I'm finally done. The flexual kit is installed. Now you can see this box here goes down, plugs into the O2 sensors. I have all that wiring sort of tucked up in here and all zip tied up so it's not going anywhere. Then we have the next plug plugged into the TGV, which is actually zip tied up underneath here as well. But you saw the plug that that went to. Then it plugs down here to the flex fuel sensor and all of our hoses are hooked up. It is installed. We're good to go. You can put the battery back in, start the car up. Um, but I still have to put in a fuel pump. So up here we have our DW300C fuel pump. Oh, skid plate from Deechworks. We got to go put this bad boy in the car. All right, first order of business here. There's going to be a pull clip. You're going to have to kind of feel under here once you find it. It's a little clip. You're going to put two fingers around it like this, pull out, and that clip is going to come undone. Then this whole seat will literally just pop out. Once you undo those clips and pull the seats out, you're going to see four screws going around the fuel pump. Take those out. Once you take those four screws out and you pull this plate off, this is going to be plugged into here. You're going to want to disconnect that. And now there's going to be a series of, I believe these are eight millimeter bolts going the whole way around the fuel pump. You're also going to take a flathead and pry up on these fuel lines, just like we did on the front lines for the uh, flex fuel kit. And we're going to pull those away. Uh, after we take all these bolts out, the pump should just come right out. Okay, so first things first, once you have this out of the car, um, the whole assembly is just going to lift up after you uh, take all the bolts out. There's going to be a couple gaskets and stuff. Make sure you don't lose them or forget the orientation they came out from. Um, but there's a spring on the one side here where these rods come down. You can see I got gas all over the floor, so um, <laughs> this was fun. Um, but here's the spring. You can see right there, uh, there's a little clamp, uh, not a clamp, but a little uh, C-clip that holds this on from going out. We're going to actually have to like compress this just a little bit, take some pliers, and pull that ring off. Once you have that ring off and you pull the top off, you're going to kind of have to wiggle it around. It'll eventually come off. Um, but there's going to be three clips. There's one here next to the wires. There's one over here. And there's one on this side as well. And you can see that they're all just uh, just push up and they'll pop out. And uh, the pump itself, this whole pump unit will come out. Okay, so here's where things get just a little bit tricky. Um, you're going to want a Dremel or a decent knife or something. Because what you're going to want to do is see this little bracket here. You're going to want to cut it off. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but basically right there where my finger's pointing... Uh, you can cut it off because all this piece with the fuel sock and everything, the, this whole assembly that's plugged into the fuel pump can literally be, just be taken off. And all we're going to reuse is this little piece here. So we're going to cut that out. Once we cut that out, there's a little O-ring in here. Uh, you want to get that out. And there's a spacer in here as well. I know, uh, I don't remember exactly where it is. I think it's under that O-ring or maybe it fell out when I was tearing this apart. I have to check for it. Yeah, there it is. It did fall out when I was tearing it apart. Um, so you have your spacer. Now I have to double check. See if I'm lucky or not because sometimes these spacers... Okay, mine fits on. That's perfect. Um, sometimes they don't fit on the Deechworks fuel pump and you have to actually cut like a slit in it to fit. Mine's good. I just got to slide that down over. So anyways, uh, just go ahead and cut this. If this doesn't fit or if this spacer doesn't fit over that top lip of your fuel pump, you're going to have to cut, go ahead and just cut this like down the middle here. And, uh, it'll, it'll slide over. So here's the piece that we need cut off of the stock fuel pump assembly. So we no longer need this at all. Um, so what we're going to do now, here's our new pump. Uh, we're going to actually take off this wire. So this wire is going to go from here to the top of the fuel pump, which was the blue and black wire that came out of here. Uh, you can go ahead, it's kind of wrapped around some of these clips, just unwrap it and unplug it. Once it's unplugged, you're going to take your new supplied wire. The gray wire is the one that's going to go in here, and we are just going to go ahead and slip that in, and it'll clip in like so. Once you have that clipped in, um, you can go ahead and like wrap around the wires again if you want and kind of tuck them back up in here. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that when I have two hands free. Then this will plug back in where it was before at the top onto the new Deechworks pump. Take our spacer. We're going to put the spacer on. We're going to take two O-rings. We're going to slide the O-rings on. And then we're going to insert them back up in here after I take that O-ring off. After you put on the spacer and both O-rings, 
Uh, it comes with a little bit of lubricant that you can use on the O-rings to get it to slip in a little bit better. But you're going to basically, that hole that I showed you, you're going to slide it up and uh, push it in. Now it's it's going to kind of feel like it went in, but it's not quite in yet. You're going to push and push and push. Finally, you'll, you'll kind of hear like a little click. Not, not really a click, but you'll literally feel it like pop in there. And uh, once it's in, this is how it should be sitting. Now we're going to take our new fuel sock. And we're going to put it on, which is pretty simple and self-explanatory. And then we're going to take that piece that we cut off, if you remember this. And we're going to put this back over top of here. And we can put the assembly all back together. Okay, guys. The freaking fuel pump is in. Uh, it's really not that hard of a job, but I'm super tired. It's been a long freaking day. But the fuel pump's done. Flex fuel kit is in. We can put our battery back in and uh, not start the car because I'm still waiting on the intercooler and the uh, first map from Ron. Uh, so once Ron sends me the first map uh, I'll and I get the intercooler, hopefully tomorrow or Friday, I can uh, start the thing up and start doing some logs. Well, I appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully you found it helpful or at least entertaining. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end the video here. And hopefully we'll pick back up in a day or two when I get the intercooler and get the ProTune on the car. Um, and then uh, we'll see. We'll, uh, the power will be coming. So I'll see you guys in the next video.